John Muir wrote a, a beautiful little essay on the Douglas squirrel. And the Douglas squirrel, are not these big bushy tailed gray ones, but they're these little ones that go ripping up and down trees and they eat pine cones. And they eat them like artichokes. You know, they spin around, they pull the leaf off, they eat the good part, and then they drop the leaf until there's nothing but a pile of leaves on the ground and a, and a thing that looks like an apple core, which is the, the leftover. And you'll see these when you're walking around the metal loop or around out here. Have you seen them? These, yeah, uh, piles of pine cone leaves. And then off in a tree somewhere, it'll be a Douglas squirrel laughing at you. <laughs> And anyway, John Muir described this Douglas squirrel charming in a book called The Mountains of California. And at the end of the essay, he says he tried singing to it to see what it would do. And he named some of the songs. And one of the songs that he sang to the squirrel was this. He makes and brings a bonny doom. How can you bloom so fresh and fair? How can you chant, ye little birds, while I stay weary full of care? Thou break my heart, you warbling bird, that wantons through the flowering floor. Thou minds me of departed joins, departed never to return. Squirrel, he said, and I've sung this for Douglas squirrels. Um, whenever I see a Douglas squirrel, I'll sing them this song. And about 70% of the time, they do the same thing. They'll just freeze on the side of a tree. Usually, they're like this, you know, looking at you, like like they're gonna rip your face off or something. Yeah. But they'll listen to the whole song, and then when you're done, then they'll run up the tree to a branch. And they'll stand there and they'll, they'll yell at you for a while. <laughs> you know, and, and, and um, <laughs> oh, they're the funniest thing. Douglas squirrels, they're great. I love this little guy. So that's what you sing to them. So memorize that song and yeah. then you'll know what to sing to a Douglas squirrel. And it'll look at you like, oh, it's that Muir guy again. Because yeah. yeah. they don't recognize people very well. Uh, let's see.